If mythical Pokemon were allowed in VGC, would Mew be better than Mew 2? Mike and Kevin are gonna find out. We flipped a coin. Tails was gonna get Mew, Heads was gonna get Mew 2. Mike got Tails. They took those Pokemon, they made a team, and now they're gonna play it against each other. Let's see who wins. Let's roll the intro. Okay, uh, Mew, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Never played against the Mew in my life. I've played against a lot of Mewtwo's. This is a different story, and it looks like Mike uh, decided to play Mew Ring Your Sun. Okay. <laughs> and I unironically have an ogre team. This team is by, by Yugi Mon on Discord, by the way. Thank you so much. Whoa! Wait, we didn't actually know we were what, what our other restricted was going to be. He picked Kyogre, I picked Groudon. Wow, look at that. Blastoise is a friend of the channel. He's definitely a friend of the channel. He's definitely going to be a friend of the game. But they have Gastrodon versus the Kyogre and Blastoise. Mike. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Do I have a grass move on Mewtwo? I feel like I should. Okay, we're good. Awesome. Uh, Mewtwo's definitely gonna be win condition, so I'm not gonna bring in the lead. Thankfully, they don't have any dark types to just one-shot Mew, which is nice. Ooh, Cartana goes hard here, though. Ooh, okay. Let's do double grass. Mewtwo. And either Ogre or Stoice. Leave the Lando behind. I'm doing Ogre. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the Gastrodon and I'm like, oh, there's a Kartana over there. I should probably be wary about that. But, but, it's like everything else is a use case for, for Gastrodon. So, maybe I'll decide if, if the Gastrodon is that annoying for me in the end game. Then I'll figure it out. Anyway, best of luck to you, Mike. But not too much luck. Because Mewtwo clearly has to be the better Pokemon. It's going to be so weird seeing Mew in DGC. Meanwhile... <laughs> Mike still hasn't changed his clothes since the Crown Tundra. <laughs> Mew is going to be Mike's lead. Okay, as we go with the Whimsicott Kartana lead on our side. Interesting. I mean, I think we definitely have the upper hand here. But why do I feel like Mew has a fire move? Because here's the thing. I have the overheat, and I don't know if he knows that I have the overheat. So here, I can just Dynamax and go for the Max Flare, because this Mew is meant to get real big. All right? Like, so big. I'm going to scout the Mew. I'm going to scout the Mew, and I hope Mew doesn't Dynamax here. I really, really hope Mew doesn't Dynamax here. Because if Mew Dynamax is here, smacks it with a Max Flare, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Live on camera. I, I super outweigh the whims it got, right? So let's just let's just do that. That's not a good first turn for <laughs> Kevin. He's going to be very upset unless he KOs my Groudon. Oh, no. Knowing Mike, Mike Dynamax knew. I, I knew it. I, I <laughs> and it has a fire move, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Mikey? All right, here's my Protect, which I really don't think is going to save me here. Let's get this Charm going on the Groudon. At least Groudon's going to do very little damage for what it's worth. It also just does try to entice the swap out. Of course. I'm so curious what this is going to do in Protect and Sun. <laughs> yes! It's a Life Orb Mew. Heat Crash. I, I, I unironically might. Believe that? Yeah, I do. Wow, this game is going a lot quicker than I wanted it to. I'm going to bring in Ogre now. My charm actually made quite the difference. Okay, uh, Kyogre's going to come out. I don't... I don't think I... I think I'm good with this. Wow, I'm really good with this, aren't I? Uh, I don't care to set the sun back up. I'm actually going to hit with the max overgrowth. That's why the Mew has the max overgrowth. Uh, and then we're going to swap into Gastro. Because what's he even going to do? Because what's he even going to do? My goal here is to do as much damage to Mew as I can. So the Gastrodon getting some stat boost doesn't really make too much of a difference for us. It's mainly how can we do damage to Mew. There's a Storm Drain. Yeah, that's totally fine. Mew has over. Mew has everything. 
Mew has it all. Uh, it did less than I thought it would do, but it still did okay, right? And now Mew, ooh, now Mew is gonna heal up. I still have yet to Dynamax, and I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I think Dynamax and Mew is gonna be our one chance of winning this game. If we win this game, if that's even possible anymore. Because we're also gonna, gonna have to deal with the Groudon. So I'm probably gonna need to preserve my Ogre. So I'm gonna actually have to hard swap to Mew too. What's my what's my other option? Send out Groudon and take out the Oh! Oh whoa, whoa, whoa. I can totally do that. Hold on, hold on. I can keep my thing alive. So I can go for the Mew this turn and swap into my Mewtwo. This is so problematic. You know, in, in good old Kevin fashion, it's it's we just gotta lose game one. That's all that happens, is that we just lose oh Mewtwo the Royal. Tell me that's not the coolest. Okay, so Mewtwo wins the shiny uh the shiny game, which is nice. They double swap the Gastro. Interesting. Back into the Groudon. We'll see how they play this out. The way that they, they the way that Mike made that switch means uh probably just gonna go for another overgrow into that spot. If I can get a special attack drop, that'd be cool. Yes! Ha ha ha. Oh, that's yucky, but either way, here's a monster. Yeah, uber resisted. Hilarious damage output. Awesome, that's what we needed to see. Now we get Charm again. We can Moonblast again. We have a lot of options still, which is nice. They gave us Mindstorm. So that means we can just Mindstorm anything, unless Mike brought the Grimmy in the back, but I... It might have brought in some. Uh, and we'll maybe hit him with the Precipice Blades. Maybe. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna, well, obviously that's gonna do the most against the Mewtwo here. They show me instant, they show me instant. They switch out the Mew and actually, all right. They do have the instant, but I hit the correct spot. Which is good enough for me. So now that Mike's Dynamax is over, we have our Dynamax with our Mewtwo. It's my turn now. I get to do damage. Finally, after losing my Tana turn one. That's really making me reconsider my, my game two strategy though. Uh, we'll worry about game two when we get to game two. Right now we have to worry about this. Big Mewtwo on the field. I actually lost a lot of HP from that uh, Max Mindstorm, believe it or not. Moonblast into the Ensign. Eh, does something, I guess. Followed by the Max Mindstorm. Unfortunate, but I do have Assault Vest. I do have Assault Vest. That would have KO'd. But I, instead, I have the Assault Vest. So. They can't fake me out because of Sega Terrain. So now I just lock onto Origin Pulse. Since I'm Scarfed, it should be okay for the rest of the game. I think we still win this. I hope we still win this. We might win. We need our moves to connect, so wish me luck, I guess. I feel like I either want to fake out or parting shot. If I fake out the Kyogre, my Groudon dies. I could swap into something else, like Gastrodon, which can probably take one of those hits. But why would I do that? Why would I do that? Soak up a Dynamax turn? That doesn't really help. Uh. Ugh. Yeah, if I fake out the Kyogre, then at least my Groudon gets two. Yeah, it just gets to die. Okay, we got Mike thinking. That's good. Mike currently has the two Pokemon advantage. I think I need that clean switch into Mew. Uh, maybe I need to soak up some, uh, some Tailwind turns. How much, how much time is on Tailwind? Oh, this is the last turn. Okay, I can let Groudon die. That's fine. That is totally okay. Oh, there's a fake on second terrain. You have to gift me a oh, sub yeah. now, Mikey. Oh, pulse. Oh, bah, yeah. bah. <laughs> Get out of here. Amazing. Not missing today. Not missing at all. Unfortunately, they're going to see the overgrow now, right? Uh. <laughs> Oops. All right. Tailwind is going to go away. Um. 
We should still be outspeeding Mew, and we now lock the weather onto the field. It doesn't matter that I'm dumb. I went through that whole thought process of like, oh, I can do this, and that, and this, and that, and the and psychic drain. Uh, yeah, so we can Dark Pulse the Mewtwo here. We can, uh, I guess, Earth Power the Kyogre? I can try and try and knock it out. Oh, Pulse, there's a Storm Drain. Please don't miss the Mew. I need my old pulse to miss. I need my Kyogre to take off its blindfold. Mew gets pulsed. And Gastro's gets gotten, maybe. Possibly. Yes. Oh no, it's got over. Why does it fire no! that from its crotch? <laughs> Why does it need to fire overgrow from its crotch? He's so beautiful and he's down. What? <laughs> Yeah, growth did. GG's, we're gonna take the game one. I think the Cartana thing was a little scary, but part of me still wants to go with the same thing. Okay, I think we still go Cartana here. I, I know that's like crazy to say, but I think we had all the right Pokemon to win that last game. So I'm not gonna make any adjustments. The Landorus would be interesting here and would be really decent into their very physical team, but at the same time, we have to be a little concerned with the Thunderous. Okay, I was just checking to see if I had you turn, because then maybe that would give me another reason to bring Lando, but I, I, yeah, I still don't think I bring Lando, and I don't think I bring Blastoise here either. Go with the same four. We'll see how this does. Uh, if I bring the Thunderous, then I can Dynamax that. Yeah, I can Dynamax that and attack the Kartana. So I do that. I don't think there's a point necessarily to bring the Gastrodon. The Gastrodon wasn't actually able to do much that last game either. I think I've lost all will to bring the Gastrodon. Maybe the Gastrodon's not even worth it because now Mike knows that the Mewtwo has Overgrow. And now maybe my Kartana's not worth it because I know that the Mew has Max Flare. Could be Fire Blast, could be a uh, flamethrower we'll see but yeah game two baby let's see how stressful this can get okay i believe in me i hope you do too artana whimsicott of course gotta assume that he's gonna bring the same thing it's a shiny Cartana. it's matte black all right incinerate thunderous we're gonna hit the Whimsicott. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit Whimsicott. Reason being, I like the Kartana with the minus one. I think that's actually pretty sweet. So let's go for the Whimsicott here. Let's see if we can take it out first turn. Maybe he swaps it out. I don't know. I'm just going to stay in Sacred Sword, the Ensign. I'm going to get fake outed and air in this spot, right? I don't have Protect on Whim, so I'm just going to have to suck it up. Fine, we're sucking it up. I'm going to Tailwind anyway. Because I, I don't have the safe switch in, so I'm not going to swing in my Scarf Ogre into a Thundee and lose immediately because of it. Because listen, Kevin plays VGC every day, right? You, you, you all see it. He's very much better than me. I just want to try and take a game off of him. That's that is what what my goal is here right now. I think things are going OK so far. Thunderous is going to airstream and take out the whim. This is bad. This isn't good. This is actually very bad. I don't quite know what to do anymore. Because nothing on my team can deal with this Thunderous at the moment. Maybe Dynamaxing Ogre is the play? That seems risky. Doesn't seem like a smart move. But I also don't think Thunderous can one-shot my Ogre. My, my, my heart's beating on this. Why is my heart beating? Come on. Yikes is all I have to say. 
My Scarfed Ogre isn't going to outspeed a plus one Thundy. Maybe if I led with it, it would, but not now. And if I Dynamax Ogre and they still have the Gastrod on the back, then I'm still screwed. I think my safest overall play is going to be Mewtwo. So here comes Mewtwo. Maybe swap in my Ogre on the Kartana spot, since I feel like that's not going to be a focus anymore at negative one. Now, I believe... I could Throat Chop. That's interesting. That is quite the move there, huh? I was going to Parting Shot. I really was. But I'm... I don't know. No. You know what? I'm going to Flare Blitz the Kartana now. And I'm going to... Oh, I, I want to max guard. Like, I have to prepare for Thunderous more in my next game, I think. The Thunderous lead was definitely the right adjustment by Mike. I think I waste a turn for him if, if I max guard right now. Yeah. So if that goes into my uh, Thunderous right now, that's that's going to be one turn of Dynamax off for him. And Mewtwo's a big threat, a bigger threat than my, my Thunderous is, I believe. Uh, so if I'm able to KO his Kartana, then I will be able to swap out the Incineroar next turn with a Parting Shot. Yeah, that's good. That's great. He still outspeeds, but he's not going to KO. We know that. Uh, no, I'm actually not going to be able to Parting Shot now because... Uh, Flare Blitz is going to take me out, but that's okay. The one Pokemon that can really do a lot of damage onto my Mewtwo is now gone. My next concern is my Ogre, right? Because I won't be able to do anything here. I am Scarf, but they're also plus one. Um, and the Groudon came out on the field second, so the weather is going to go in the Groudon's favor. Yeah, this is this is Mike's game. Mike can have this one. It's all yours. There's nothing I could do here. Yeah. See, now we're now we're gaming. We are we are gaming now. All right, here we go. Uh, I, I feel like I don't want to attack the the Mewtwo. I feel like just going for the Kyogre is the right move. I think that my Mew can beat the Mewtwo as long as we don't have Dynamax here, right? So let's let's go for the Heat Crash. No, let's go for the Precipice Blades. <laughs> we'll go for the uh, Precipice Blades. We'll go for the Max Lightning. I think that my uh, combo can take out this Kyogre this turn. Yeah, wow, just one. Hey, Mike can miss a thousand P-Blades here. A billion P blades is what I need right now. I got one more turn of Dynamax after this too. I need Mew to win, though. so I need this to not go on the Kyogre. It didn't. It or not going on, on the Groudon. I need that to not KO the Groudon, which it didn't because I have the Assault Vest. Yes, perfect. Did they protect last game? I don't think so. No, that was straight damage. Single target P blade is gonna hurt a lot though, but not enough to knock me down. We're looking good here, folks. We are looking so promising. We have one turn left of Dynamax, which is fine. Let's go for the Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw Wild Charge? Yeah, why not? Wild Charge. Mewtwo's tanking these hits like it's nobody's business. Thunderous goes down. That's okay. Hey, uh, I want to tell you a little something about my Groudon. Is it has a Shadow Claw. That's a Shadow Claw. That doesn't miss. I take two, one more of those, though. Okay, now that you showed me Shadow Claw, I'm worried. Now I want to kill you. Wait, that means it is AV. Listen, Mike's running. Oh, Mew's still in the game. I have AV on Mew, though. On Mew, too, that is. Oh, no. I don't actually know the speed tiering here, but Dark Pulse on the Mewtwo. Let's just let's just show him that we have it. Show him that we're ready. Show him that we're ready for him. I think right now I have to worry about Groudon. 
Yeah, let's worry about Groudon right now. They have Deep Pulse. Ah, uh, AV. Also, they're faster. Wow, okay. Mew's faster than Mewtwo? Since what? Unless maybe just this Mewtwo. Probably just this Mewtwo, because I'm pretty sure Mew should not be faster than Mewtwo. Yeah, base 100 should definitely not be faster than Mewtwo. Okay, Mike. Oh. It's time for game three. Okay, so coming into this one, uh, this is either going to make or break my game. Because Mike didn't bring Gastro to any of the battles so far. Do it again. Same again. Let's go. Do it. Yep. yep. Should I leave the Ogre behind? This thing is, like, being in rain doesn't make too much of a difference for me. It just helps the damage output of my Blastoise. I could go double waters, but into Gastro, that's super risky. So I guess Blastoise and Mewtwo are my best options as my lead because then I can cover the Gastro switch with a max grass move. Um, I think I'm also going to go for... I feel like... I feel like Dynamaxing the Mew is a not great choice early. I feel like what Kevin did where he brought out the Mew later and Dynamaxed it later was particularly good. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with Mew, especially because I'm bringing the Thunderous. Like, I, I kind of have to Dynamax it either first turn or second turn or something like that. It kind of depends on what my opponent brings. What the lead is, you know? Depends on what the lead is. Then again, Mike didn't bring Gastro to the last battle. Could always bring it to this battle. They do go with the same, with the, the instant thunderous lead from the game before. All right, so predicting a, uh, a whimsy lead. Got it. This gives us a little bit of options. It also gives us the opportunity to, to look into what Mike wants to do. Blastoise and Mewtwo. So, so now not only do I think that he's going to Gigantamax the Blastoise, maybe? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, he might Gigantamax the Blastoise. Oh, no. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If he G-maxes the Blastoise, then he's going to go for the Incineroar. He might fake out here. In which case, is there something I can do better? If I... Saw if I swap out into ground on, I toss up the sun, which is pretty good. I'm not going to get hit with a stab move. And then I can make it speedy by air streaming, say, the Mewtwo, maybe the Blastoise. I'm... I feel like he's not going to Gigantamax this turn. I feel like... I want to make sure I play this nice and slowly. All right, Wim's coming back out. I made a choice. Withdraws the Ensign, they're going into Gastro. Okay, so... Groudon. I made a choice, and I don't hate that choice. That's not what I expected, but... That's good. It's something I could charm, at least. So I'm going to, to Dynamax first. I'm going to hit first if he does Dynamax as well. Pretty sure Mike was expecting a fake out from the Blastoise into the instant spot. Thankfully, that isn't the case. I think I'm okay here. I, I really do. I'm, I'm like rolling through the, the ideas of what he can be doing here, and, and I think I'm just good, right? As long as I can get this thing down to a two hit KO, that's really good. We already learned from last game, it's definitely not AV, but it's also not Life Orb. So it's like Lum, Safety Goggles, it's something. It's not AV and it's not Life Orb, but what are you? Who are you, Thunderous? Just an Airstream, okay. Unfortunate, but Sash. And we Tailwind next turn. So not the end of the world, not the greatest news, but it's fine. Once we're Tailwinded, we should be outspeeding Thundee, at least for another turn. Oh, it's so close to, to a 2 hit KO. It is ridiculously close to a 2 hit KO. Uh, I think I can do something about it, though. Hold on. Well, first of all, let's go for the Precipice Blaze, because that's going to... No, never mind. It's not the, it's not the one that I, I want it to be. Uh, 
I thought that that was going to be a Max Darkness. I thought that I had uh, Foul Play, I think. On, on this, I don't. I have. I forget what the physical move I put on this was. Anyway, uh, I think me going for the Max Guard is obvious. I'm going to do it anyway. Because honestly, sometimes the most obvious play is the best one. This just gives us another opportunity to get something fast in here, though. Or faster. And it hit the guard. And it hit the guard. Could have taken that shot into the ground on, but it's fine. Wim's gonna dodge, okay. Wait, this is big. This is huge. Because now I definitely have enough damage to knock out Thundee. I wish I could encore Thundee, but I can't. Now, wait a minute. I can keep my Thunderous alive here. We're gonna go for the Max Lightning on the Mewtwo. We're gonna change away the... the... It's dead. It's, it's dead, I lied. Oh, I accidentally gave it Defiant. But so's the Mewtwo, hold up. Tailwind. Tailwind. I forgot about Tailwind. I feel like there's just so many raid bosses on Mike's team right now. <laughs> they go for the P-Blades again. It does connect this time. It's going to knock out the Wim, so I do get this free swap into something. And they can't fake me out because I get terrain. So I think this is a pretty good opportunity to go into Kartana. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Drift. Oh. Go into Kartana. I think I'm doubling the Groudon. We'll see. Back in instant, fine. They can't pick me up. Could also double the instant. But like I said, I'm saving my Blastoise for the instant in the late game. Just gonna double grout on here. Nice little Leaf Blade. And a nice little uh, side strike. Inside terrain. Should be more than enough to knock that out. Let's see. You did it again, Mike! Of course! <laughs> Bop! <laughs> How many times must I forget this? How many times must I forget this? That's not good. Side strike again, now into the Groudon. One of the coolest animations in the game. Knocking out the Groudon, beautiful. All right, let's see what their last is. It has to be Mew, right? I'm sorry, folks who are screaming at their computer screen right now. Oh, that's so gross. You do still have Tailwind for a couple more turns. I think I'm going to focus everything I have into this Mew. Hold on. I'm going to hold it first. I'm going to protect. I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to protect. I'm going to Shadow Ball into Mew. I'm going to hopefully do some damage here. Now, Mew 2 with the Shadow Ball, though. I think this is the last turn of Tailwind. If I survive this, yes then I think I'm good. Wait for it. Sun's going down. Tail and petered. Weirdness disappeared. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I shouldn't change much. It just means that I have to rotate my targets. I was going to go for Sacred into Ensign. But I think now I just have to Leaf Blade into Mew. And uh, as for what I do into Ensign, I, all my moves don't really work into Ensign. I, I think the Kartana outspeeds my Mew. No. It's so fast. Okay, they went to Mew. I'm kind of letting my Mew go down by doing this, aren't I? This is going to come down to which starter is the best, I guess. Jeez, this Mew is fast. Maybe this Kartana is slow can't decide. Okay, so we, we wiped off the Intimidate, but I don't think it's going to matter because we're about to eat a Flare Blitz. Oof. Now, consider for a second the Kartana going down to a Flare Blitz instead of a freak out. But now, here's the kicker. The Blastoise that we brought turn one is coming back out here. Blastoise, the celebratory. Okay, uh, we're gonna throw a chop. <laughs> ah! No, don't, don't remind me. 
feels a little dirty, but it is what it is. I could, if I really wanted to be dirty, I could have yawned, but. I'm so sad. Uh, no, I'll let him do it. You know what? I, I will let you have the satisfaction. Hydro Cannon does connect. Last Blastoise. It comes down to two starters. That's the way that it, it's got to go, folks. The regular Blastoise. That was just nobody's friend. <sighs> Dang, Mike. You stressed me out. I don't like that. <laughs> Gee, jeez. <laughs> let's, let's go talk to Kevin. I, I don't want to talk about it. Let's go talk to Kevin. Mike, I, I I don't know if my Pokemon are just very slow or if your Mew is very fast. Yeah. yeah. It is the fastest rodent cat that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Mew's base 100 everything. That's the thing, but Mewtwo is base 130. Oh, <laughs> that's speed. true. And you were outspeeding me, so I was like, what's going on here? I got a fast Mew, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> well, something's going on here. Um, uh, yeah, so I let's get it out of the way first. I fake out it twice in psychic <laughs> terrain. I'm I'm sorry. It's you been a while. It's my first now. day. <laughs> you have to give two subs. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, tell me about your team. Um, so it looks like the the whole premise of the team was get Kyogre on the field next to Blastoise, Dynamax, Blastoise, do a lot of damage in the rain. But you had a Pokemon called Gastrodon that didn't really really let me do that too much. So. <laughs> I guess that's what the Kartana is for. That's why the energy ball is on the Mewtwo. Um, overall, it's just pretty much just a Tailwind team in the rain, uses a Kartana instead of a dog and decides to use a Mewtwo. It's AV Mewtwo, by the way, in case you were wondering why, you you, you know, the Dark Pulses weren't one-shotting me. I did have a feeling. I did have a feeling. Yeah. I was like, oh, that thing takes a little too little damage here. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. AV Mewtwo. Yeah. What, what was your Thunderous? So, I have no idea. It wasn't Life Orb, it wasn't a Salt Vest. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's safety goggles, all right? Oh, oh, that wouldn't help you today. If no. I had a Venusaur, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it helps me. And in this yeah. situation, not so much, not so much. Uh, no, this this team, my one regret is not having a dark move on the Thunderous, because I feel like that yeah. physical uh, that, that physical dark uh, Dynamax move would have been just so, so good. In so many that would have ruined me. Yeah, that would have really exactly. ruined me too. Uh, did you notice how? Uh, did you notice how Mewtwo, where Mewtwo fires off a Max Overgrowth from? Or am I the only one that noticed? No, I didn't notice. Oh, you're gonna love my commentary then. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah. So I mean, this this team is is just kind of like it's a mishmash of all the good stuff, right? You got Gastron, Thunderous, and Cinder Grim style. Those are like the standard good Pokemon these days. Good, good support. They do some good attacks. Uh, Thunderous is is so good in Dynamax. I realized that after after game two, that Mew isn't actually what I want to Dynamax here. Mew just does a lot of damage and has a lot of coverage because, you know, Mew can kind of learn mm, everything. Uh, it made me really sad game one, though. Did I it? was like, I'm going to because I, I, the thing is, I was like, there's no way Mike Dynamax is Mew. <laughs> there's just no right. way. <laughs> and then that's the first thing you did. And I protected. I was like, I'm just going to scout for like maybe a flamethrower or something. It was beautiful. D Dynamax, Max Flare, knock on my Carton to turn one. I was like, well, yeah. now I'm sad. Especially in the sun. It's it's just so nice. It was so much damage. Yeah. Uh, the Dark Pulse was specifically to, to go up against Mewtwo. Uh, that could have also been a, a ghost move, but I did choose to. to go for yeah, I ran the shadow ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. We we each had a, a ghost move sprinkled in the team somewhere. That's right. Yeah, I had the shadow claw on the ground on. You saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Well, did your ground on have protect or was AV? It was AV. Okay, good. That, <laughs> yeah. That that much I I was like, is this AV? I couldn't tell because I feel like I did way too much damage with Mindstorm. Cause I was just like, what is happening? But I guess that's just Mewtwo being Mewtwo. Oh, I was I was scared that it was going to take it out, and then I remembered that it had assault vest, and I was like, oh no, it's fine. Oh, we're a good. A lot of things, a lot of things can take at least one hit with with assault mm -hmm. vest, you know? Yeah. Uh, anyway, there's the rental codes for both of our teams uh, over here, so you can go and check those out. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you want to go and see more of these, make sure you let us know down in the comments. Uh, is a lot of fun bringing back these these. Uh, battles against Kevin, even though I, I fake out in Psychic Terrain, all right? I, I promise <laughs> you, I will make this pledge that I will never do it for the next month. <laughs> and then once Scarlet and Violet comes Zero out... Zero promises. I'll do it every time. <laughs> I Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, we'll see it you next happens time. to the best of them. Later. We'll see you next bye -bye. time. Bye.